so this is uh, this is the second year we've uh, we've attended FinTech Connect. Uh, the first year, the kind invite of the Welsh Government. So we've taken a position on the Welsh Government stand. Uh, we work very closely with the Welsh Government on our kind of local presence and our local appearance in the market. In that, you know, we're a Welsh business. So. So we're here very much celebrating the fact that we're a Welsh business, we're a local business, we employ lots of local talent. But really it's for us about the kind of growth of the fintech market. It's very much about the growth and how we see the, the fintech market developing. Uh, and certainly on the back of us as a regtech player. So, you know, we class ourselves as both operating in the fintech space, but in the regtech, uh, with the regtech, uh, clear regtech focus. Um, we see there's plenty of opportunities and we're very excited by, by what we've heard today so far. Yeah, the thing we're very, we're actually most proud of, and it happened only last week, was our ISO 27001 certification. So, uh, we, me, and a number of the other team have spent a great deal of time and effort uh, putting lots of processes, practices, procedures in place that you'd expect from a from a cloud-based business like uh, W2. But actually, uh, it's to reassure you know our clients have, uh, are well accustomed to the fact that we had everything in place already. So, in terms of uh, you know, post GDPR, when data and privacy and information security was key, uh, we had have spent the last couple of years putting everything in place to ensure that uh, the journey through the ISO certification was 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 nice and quick and easy. So, it's the thing that we're most proud of in the last couple of weeks. But given the innovative rate by which we're turning out new products, uh, you know, we'll be celebrating something else next week and no doubt something else the week after that. So I think I think for us, uh, you know, I think frictionless frictionless onboarding has become somewhat of an overused term, but actually, you know, it is key when when the likes of uh, customers, the likes of the challenger banks and some of the newer fintechs, are looking at seamless frictionless onboarding journeys. So we play our part uh, in kind of making that a lot simpler. So frictionless means humanless. So it's around you know, that straight through processing element is you can bring someone through from being a, you know, an acquisition target through getting onboarded, making sure they're a happy customer, keeping them a happy customer, and certainly if their circumstances change or their buying or usage patterns change, say, uh, then you can keep up with them in terms of the, um, the circumstantial screening you have to do. So if something changes about them, you're the first to know, not the last to know. So it's been it's been a really interesting uh, exhibition so far. Actually, I'm mindful this is day one of two days, so uh, it's really a pleasant experience to come and see lots of partners, lots of suppliers, lots of prospects, lots of customers. Um, you know, and all here today. So it's been a, an interesting conversation, even with someone else on the stand. What has historically been seen as competition is very much changing to co-opetition. So what has historically been a competition in our competitive market. Companies like ourselves and companies you know, here today are seeing opportunities to work together. So um, whether it's ex-employees or ex-partners, they're quite happy to meet up and say, actually, in terms of the innovative nature of the business that we've got, what is it that we can offer? What is it we can bring to market? What is it we can collaborate on together? So it's been, as I said, there have been lots of positive conversations about working with businesses that historically perhaps we may not have worked with. But now a lot of people, us included, are a lot more open-minded to that.